real estate agents. Welcome to the Weekly Closer. I'm your host, Jeff Underwood, along with my co-host and business partner, Joey Sampaga. The man with the plan. How are you doing today, Joey? I'm thinking of beer for some reason. Oh, man. Are you serious? Yes. Why is that? Oh, I know why. Yes. All right, all right. Well, we are the Real Estate Marketing Maniacs. Oh, Ooh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And we have with us today... It's Miller time. Yes, it's Susan Miller <laughs> with Keller Williams Realty East Valley. How are you doing? Susan. I'm, I'm doing fantastic. Good. Uh, so I said that right, right? Yes, you did. So what, what's the slogan? You said that you have a slogan. I Go have ahead. a slogan. When when it's time to buy or sell, it's Miller time. It's wow. Miller time. Yes. Hey, we might as well break it. right into this. Uh, you told us that one of the events that you like to have uh, for your clients... You want to share that a little bit? Yeah. So we... I um, think this is really cool. We might as well start off with yeah, this. Yeah. <laughs> let's start off with the fun stuff. So we have our one of our client appreciations for our VIPs and people that refer business to us is to rent out at a spring training game at the Diamondbacks Salt River Fields, the Miller Deck. Yeah. And we uh, provide lunch and we have a bar and a baseball game. It's just a really good time for family and everybody just to enjoy three to four hours yeah, together for sure. nice good baseball so. how can you beat uh, good weather with a baseball game you right you can't you yeah. can't no it's fantastic and how many people do you think usually um it's anywhere from 150 to 200 typically wow okay. yeah how do we get on that That's list a big group <laughs> it's very easy you just give me a referral there you <laughs> go there you go all right so let's go ahead and, and let the uh the the listeners know as well how long uh, how long you've been in business and kind of what got you into real estate okay so I have been in business I'm coming up on what 14 years 14. and um, what got me into real estate was that I was always in a service sales position for like commercial buildings yeah and so I you know I sold anything from mechanical maintenance to janitorial to security on large scale buildings like this one. Okay. And um, just after many years of selling other people's um, service and products and dealing with the corporate r- world, I decided that I wanted to take my level of service and integrity into my own hands and work for myself. There you go. Makes sense. Started your own business. Started my Called own business. Real estate. Yes. Right? Love it. No, that's awesome. Now, you mentioned before um, that the majority of your business comes from referrals, and that's one of the reasons why we brought up the client appreciation thing. Um, Share with us again the percentage, because I thought that was amazing. Yeah, uh, so I would say 95% of our business is from repeat or referral business. That's amazing. Yeah, that is amazing. I think that's what every agent is striving to do, right? Absolutely. Because it's a lot easier to get business from people that already know you than it is to have to constantly find new. Absolutely. Yes. So, uh, I, I rarely have to compete. So when I do, I'm like, oh, wow, what's this? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you do um, stay in front of them. I mean, uh, you're making calls, probably emails, uh, your client appreciation things. So everything. Um, everything. Anniversary cards for their home anniversary when they bought. Um, we, stay in, we invite them to our client appreciation events. I call my clients probably every quarter at least like rotate through and yeah. and call them and say hi nice you know and just check on them yeah you know it's it's interesting because when joey and i do classes we'll ask the question uh, you're at least making calls right to your dad I mean, so many people don't raise their hand yeah, yeah. i had 15 um, people in class yesterday and one person raised their hand that they're making <laughs> calls to the database yes wow <laughs> yeah wow so, uh, i think those are big yeah I mean, that can make a big difference in your business. Absolutely. Um, at the end of the day, it's still a people business, and people want to know that you care. And yeah. I feel like, you know, uh, you know, obviously, I'm calling because I want them to know that, hey, if they know somebody, you know, I'm here. Right. But I also want to – I have a true interest in their lives. Yeah, absolutely. And the team structure. So it's, it's you and your husband, right? Yes, okay. yes. So we're a husband-wife team. And uh, we have a uh, full-time assistant and a transaction coordinator. Okay. So my husband, Grant, handles the buyers. I haven't um, driven a buyer to a home in probably four years. Hmm. But Ooh, that must be nice. It's nice. And I handle the <laughs> listing side because it's, it's a little bit more strategic. Yeah. And he has, he has the patience of a saint. Uh-huh. And um, he's really, really good at researching the home and yeah. figuring out what the client needs before they get in the car with him. Okay. So, and who to trust better than 
your right. own husband with Absolutely. your clients. Absolutely. Well, I think that's the uh, the Keller Williams model too. Anyway, is it you're you're finding the one thing, right? The yeah. thing that you do best, yep. and then finding other people that do other things best. And working together it's really it's doubled our business just being able to divide and conquer yeah and everybody knows us anyway as grant and susan so it's been a beautiful thing okay and helped our relationships with our clients so right. the, the team structure i'm curious how why or how did you decide to structure it the way you did well it was actually kind of by accident <laughs> so ah. <laughs> i had always run um the business on my own mm-hmm. and i've had a buyer's agent here and there um, but when, you know, I think about four years ago, um, Grant was in the electronics industry and that industry in Arizona, you know, has gone, mm-hmm. you know, a little yeah. wacky. And I looked at him and I said, why don't you get your real estate license? I mean, you're all, you're so good with people and I'm giving business away because I am, I have too much. I can't mm-hmm. help everybody. And so he got his license and we've never looked back. Wow. It's been a beautiful thing. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's good that you guys could work together too. Yeah, I remember back in the day when I was in the mortgage business. My wife was, my wife and I were a team, and she loved it when I was out of the office. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I used to see black eyes on Jeff all no, the time. No, come on, <laughs> now. come on. Now. Well, well, we laugh because how I met Grant was that I used to work for him. He used to be my boss back okay. uh, oh. at a company oh. called Marshall Industries twenty eight years ago. Awesome. And oh, okay. so we laugh because life is a full circle. He works for me now. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, how about listings? So, listings versus buyers. Are you pretty evenly? Yeah. We, well, Grant and I compete. So, okay. you know, we're, so, you know, we're, we're actually about 50 50. Okay. You oh, know, nice. when it comes to, but a lot of our, again, a lot of our buyers come from, you know, referral business and and um open houses and we do it we still do it the old-fashioned way we you know we work for them yeah no that's good we build relationships yeah that's great how about any specific niche that you're um focused on or maybe adding to your you know your your plan i guess for this year and going into 2018 okay well 2018 we're obviously jumping on the social media bandwagon Mm, and um trying better right yes wave is here that wave is here (laughs) and we're having fun with it and um but one thing that i've um kind of found a niche for is i've you know i i have a farm of about 3100 homes that i've been consistently farming to for over five, six years. Okay, yeah. And so um, in that farm, the homes were built in 93-ish. So there's a lot of first, you know, original owners. And so I found that there's a lot of people from out of state that have parents living here or they have a loved one living here that is in need of going into assisted living or they're just done with a home or somebody might just be moving out of state and they have this house they need to deal with and they're not here. And so they need someone they can trust that's going to do help them get the most equity out of that house. Right. So we have this program we call Pass the Baton. Okay. And literally, yeah. my clients give me the keys, and they pull off, and I will handle everything that that house needs from A to Z, um, whether it's carpet kink cleaning, carpet replacement, bringing in contractors for painting, staging, um, landscape pool, roof, rep- whatever the house needs to be to. Yeah show its best mm-hmm. right to gain right. the most equity gain the most you know price on that home um, I handle it as a project manager Wow so I check on the the contractors I assist them in getting in and I also get the quotes for my clients so if oh, it's good. something that I don't have a contractor that I already you know mm-hmm. work with I'll get three bids yeah talk to my client say which one do you want to go with and we'll go with that got it so it sounds like a lot of work but it's probably very rewarding it's very rewarding and we've been doing some video of you know before and after and Mm -hmm. and putting that on social media yeah but we're able i can turn a home if um if when my client hands me the keys i can i can have a house on the market within 10 days and have it fully painted brand new carpet staged staged, ready cleaned everything that's awesome that's great yeah that's really great. So that seems like a really, yeah, it seems like a cool niche. I was just reading the other day, um, baby boomers and the the numbers of baby boomers that are actually renting now, I mean, that are selling. Right. And they're ready for less maintenance. 
and you know just something that's already taken care of and right so i could see that obviously falling right into what you're doing absolutely or somebody just moving into a home you know or moving you know mo- moving into their next home their downsize home downsize, yep and really you know when when you're moving into another home you're busy getting that house ready yeah. you really don't have time to deal with the house that you've already emotionally let go of right so now you're you know it's it's a great value to my my sellers to have somebody that will oversee and be at the house and check on the contractors and make sure things are done yeah um including all the way through the transaction even during the repairs you know i'm managing all that for my seller Got so it. So Got you it. actually go out there and do the inspections yourself, make sure that the contractors are doing their what they yep. need to do? Wow. Yep. The painter doesn't get paid until I approve the paint job. And nice. if he misses something, I have him come back and I have him fix it. Wow. So, that's a great service. Gosh. Yeah. yeah. No, that's awesome. So it sounds um, even better than some of those other things that are out there, right? Oh, yeah. The yeah. Offer pads and the open doors it's, and all that stuff. I mean, it, 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 it sounds like what you're giving is more of a, a hands-on taking them through the process um working with a professional uh, just sounds like a better yeah i'm doing all the hard work yeah. you know mm-hmm. which is you know why people look at places like offer pad or open door is because it, the in their mind it's so daunting to think about dealing yeah. with everything this house needs to have done Right. to get market value to get the most for it and they're just like oh i'll just sell it for 20 percent less mm-hmm. and out of convenience and just walk away when for maybe yeah. you know a few thousand dollars yeah. they can get all that equity themselves yeah, yeah. no Absolutely. that's great so that's great. You need to definitely keep that in front of your farm, right? Yes. 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 <laughs> Absolutely. You don't want them to get snatched up by anybody else, right? Um, how about um, before we move into the next segment? What's one thing? So, if an agent were to come to you and say that they uh, their business has slowed maybe a bit, or somebody that's brand new, what would you tell them do right now? Like, what's the first thing that somebody should do? If they're brand new, the first thing they should do is, I would say, just get involved in in business networking mm. okay just get out there and 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 meet other professionals um, whether yeah. they're doctors lawyers chiropractors and build build that team of referral business Got where it. you're helping their business and they're helping you yeah and and do open houses and just get out and meet people people do business with people that's you right. know, it, they they want to look you in the eye. They want to know that you have their best interests at heart, and they can trust you. Yeah, and they okay. will they will um, do business with someone that they trust. There you go. So it's take action. Take Talk action. to people. Talk to people. Stop yeah. hiding in you know expecting the phone to ring. <laughs> you got to actually go out and get involved. That's right. That's right. All right. So we're gonna move to the next segment. You ready to get in the ring? All right. Yes, you are ready boom, to boom. get in the ring. Here we go. <laughs> What's the best advice that anyone's ever given you? The best advice that anybody's ever given me. Um, best advice was from when I was new in the business and I was calling a, another agent that had you know, had a lot of experience and I called her, it was like, you know, seven o'clock at night and I had a question for her and she said to me, Susan, someday you're going to learn to turn off your phone after seven (laughs) o'clock and i have to say i do that now so (laughs) oh good no yeah we all need our personal time you have to have a life right and there's nothing that you can fix at eight o'clock nine o'clock at night you know that the next day that it's still going to be there and you can do it with a clear head and and not and have some sleep so that's great that's great how about your favorite mobile app my favorite mobile app. Oh my goodness! Uh, it, you're gonna, this is going to sound dumb, but um, it's not really an app. I use um, PW Safe, which is mm-hmm. password safe, password right? safe yeah. because oh, okay. we have so app. many passwords in our industry, and um, you know, a million websites and Armless and Supra, mm-hmm. and and it's daunting. And so I love that app. It has. I have everything right on my phone. I put it in once, and it's there mm-hmm. for every credit card. I don't think that's dumb at all. Okay, good, <laughs> good. Joey's into that type of stuff too. So. Good. How about a book recommendation? Um, I don't remember the. Oh, I know the author. Um, know your why. Know your why. Um, Sinek is his. Simon oh yeah, yeah. yeah Simon. Start, start with why. Simon Sinek. Simon Sinek. Um, it's a great one. That book kind of changed my life because it made me realize. 
um, what my passion was, and my passion is to build relationships based on trust. So I look for people that are going to be able to trust me, mm-hmm. and I get into relationships with people that I trust. So it's really changed my business because I no longer feel like I need to be in relationship with everybody. Yeah, uh, you know, but Absolutely. but the people that I can trust and they tr- and if they trust me, I shine. I will shine mm-hmm. for them. I will go over and beyond, you know, the normal, you know, scope of duty. Yeah. Sure. With trust. So. No, that's a great book. Yeah, Joey and I, just last month we were doing classes, um, and that was kind of the main subject was what you're figuring out your yeah. why for the next year coming up, right? Yeah. Um, so Simon Sinek and Seth Godin both are awesome yeah. authors, so appreciate you sharing that one. Yeah. Uh, how about a productivity tool or software that you use? Oh, gosh. So a productivity tool. Um, so we, we just now um, started using Brivity. Brevity. Okay. 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 Mm-hmm. And what we're what we're loving about Brevity is that there are um, we're using it for the transaction, um, you know, just for the task detail. Mm-hmm. Got it. Because we have so many tasks and so many things, we mm-hmm. we market the heck out of our our you know listings, and we just do a lot of those little extra steps, and we don't want them to fall through the cracks when we get busy. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it, it's as easy as coming in in the, in the morning and going, boom, I have these mm-hmm. 10 items to get done today. You know, I need to put my listing on Facebook, on Zillow, mm-hmm. or on other, you know, I need yeah. to. And, and and we don't lose our quality because mm-hmm. we, we get busy. Got yeah. it. All right. That's awesome. Brevity. Is that Brevi- how you, yeah, okay, brevity. Yeah, brevity. Yeah, I thought, yep. I've heard of it before, so that's yeah, cool. Yeah. All right, so one final question. We'll have you draw from the mask. Okay. This is You're gonna beautiful. Have to read it for what me. is that? Okay, All right. All right. How about tell us something most people don't know about you? Oh no, Uh-oh. I'm an open book. Everybody knows everything about me, um, except okay, except <laughs> most people don't know that um, my dad was in the Air Force and I was born in Germany, and I actually speak a little German. So wow. <laughs> really, yes, my mom's full blooded German, and um, yeah, I lived in I was lived in Germany. I, I didn't live there long, two years, and then transferred to Florida and then transferred to Arizona. All and right. I've been in Arizona since 1972. So, 72. so you've seen a lot of changes in I've the valley. I've seen a lot, yes. <laughs> you've seen yes. a lot of dirt turn into houses. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, yes. No, that is awesome. Hey, if anybody's listening today, if, if they wanted to just reach out to you, how would somebody do that? Um, you can do it two ways. You can reach me out via email at susan at susanmillertime.com. All right. Um, or you can call me at 480-227-1221. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming in and sharing what you're doing to be yeah, successful. Good stuff. In the thank business you. today. And uh, this is Jeff Underwood along with Joey Sumpog. We are the Real Estate Marketing Maniacs. And we want to give a special thanks to uh, Jake Krabby over at Academy Mortgage for helping sponsor the show. Jake. As well as Fidelity National Home yeah, Warranty. Tony. All right. Well, fantastic. Thanks so much for coming in. And awesome. until next time, guys, have a fantastic week. Take care. God bless. All right. All right. Good yeah. job. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was easy. <laughs> See, it flies by, right? It does. Yeah. Let's do another one. Come on. <laughs> you probably could, right? The Weekly Closer Podcast is sponsored by Jake Krabby, NMLS number 877141 at Academy Mortgage. Are you looking to buy or refinance a home? Jake Krabby is your mortgage professional. Contact Jake at 480-442-9291. Jake Krabby is a loan officer at Academy Mortgage, NMLS number 877141. State license for Arizona number 09-20357. AZBK number 09-04081 and New Mexico number 877141. Academy Mortgage Corporation, NMLS 3113 and New Mexico 01451. Call 480-442-9291. Address 15333 North Pima Road, Suite 205, Scottsdale, Arizona 85260. Academy Mortgage is an equal housing lender.